Okay, judges. Thank you very much. Our judges for the documentary subcategory are Alana McTiernan, Gary Cranich, Melissa Newman, Rob Burnett and Adam Horrigan. We have some others in the wings as well and we'll rotate them through a little bit. Let's begin with the first print, please. Born prematurely by C-section, these fraternal twin girls required immediate care in the hospital special care unit. After a long infertility journey, all this mother wanted to do after their birth was hold her babies. Touching their humidity cribs with longing was as close as she was able to get. This print scores 82, silver award. Mel, could you give us a quick couple of words about this one, please? <laughs> oh dear, okay. The um, reason it goes into silver is that it covers all those professional practice things that we know it needs to be. So it's good, good uh, light, good focus, well seen. Um, the thing here is that there's some real symmetry to this image which is really beautiful and of course with twins and symmetry it all sort of goes together so mm -hmm. it just takes it nicely up into that silver range. Thank you. Yes, Lani would like to make a comment as well. And I just wanted to um, congratulate the author because you, you have captured a very special moment for that mum and that story of um, w that comes across on her face is um, a memory that obviously is a capture for her now but for her babies when they're older as well and I think that's also what took it into the silver for me as well. Thank you. Next print please. Rough as guts. His name irrelevant. He sat smoking after falling off a spooked horse. He puts his blood and sweat into the heart of his farm but not his tears. No matter the amount of pain or how dry the land, tears serve no purpose. This print scores 77. And we have a challenge from Adam, who's on 83. There's a 78, two 75s, and a 74. Go for it, Adam. What I'm rewarding in, uh, in, in awarding it, in giving it silver, uh, first of all, is, is the expression in his face is, is beautifully, beautifully sort of seen and captured at, at a perfect moment. And it, it is... Yeah, you know, it is a sort of really feels like a found moment. What I'm rewarding more though is that pain is mirrored by the, the tattoo on his left arm. And you read down into that story that you know his two kids, and there's the one down the bottom there with two dates and the cross. And there's all, to me that reads like a loss, and that mirrors that pain that's in his face. And it it, it just really emphasised to me that the authors, you know, yes, there's such you know great expression in that face, but they thought to come out and show us that little piece of information. That Dustin says it's not just the pain for the situation he's in right now; it's the it's the situation that he's been in, and he continues on. And he just, you know, I really re want to reward the the author for not just going for the obvious capture here and, and giving us that piece of information. There are some technical issues in here that, that really stop me going up into silver distinction a little, um, perhaps a little bit of the depth and some of the the highlights in it. But I really want to reward what the author has brought in in accentuating the story of this this image. Gary, you're on 74. Yes, look, a, a strong character, but Adam, you mentioned the technical issues. Um, there, there's a smudge smear mark running across his lips and then across to the side of the singlet, that, and I'm still trying to, uh, yep, yep, so I can, I can see it from here too. So in terms of an award standard print, I... <laughs> 
I, I was drawn to that. I saw all those, all those other elements you spoke about. Um, you know, there are some issues as well with the background because he has a fantastic, strong, gritty face. The caption probably doesn't quite mirror w- any sort of injury or, or, or that sort of falling. That kind of doesn't sit for me either. So, you know, look, I'm still listening to what you're saying, Adam, in terms of the grittiness and, and chunkiness of this guy. But there are still some elements that just haven't got me up into that range yet. And the other judges, Adam, are in that mid-range, so they are in a position to listen to your arguments here. Sure. To, go, to address what you... I, I saw that, that streak, and that, that, that's the smoke coming out of his mouth. He's blowing out his... Uh, and, and to me, again, that, that's the element of, like, I'm not even going to... You know, I'm not going to blow out my smoke. I'm not going to... You know, I don't care that you're looking at me. I'm just going to show you this moment in time. He's, you know... It, it, it's it's almost just a a let go, just like you know, do whatever. You can't do anything more to me, is what I read into it. I really think it's a powerful uh, capture and, and a very well seen moment uh, constructed to reflect the character. And I think we should reward it at least with a low silver. So our average is seventy seven. Adam is stuck at eighty three. Everyone else can rescore. Prince scores 80, silver award. Next print, please. Festival goers enjoying the warmth of a fire as a dust storm rolls in. Push bike riders go about their business to explore the massive venue that boasts 70,000 people in the desert of Nevada, USA. This is Burning Man. This print scores 79. I'm going to pick on someone if you're not going to itch to say something. So, Rob, tell us what you could, what this author could do to notch it up. Um, I, look, I was trying to kind of... I pondered over this image a, a lot, and I would have loved to have, loved to have given it a, uh, a much higher score, but I think it's. it looks like it's... It's been kind of desaturated when it didn't have to be desaturated. I, I can, I can see that there's you know a dust storm which uh, softens everything off, and that's fine. But I just, I just think there's, um, you know, the 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 life of the shot has been kind of gone with the desaturation, and the the fire in the foreground is is kind of lost. It it could have, and it was just stronger. It would have been a, an amazing photo. Lani would like to comment as well. It's the two, Bob. Um, I feel like the, the, that it's missing a narrative, so I'm not quite sure. Obviously, the idea of this place is it's almost circus-like, and that's exciting. I sort of, it spun round, and I thought, oh, this could be really interesting when I got up there, but I think it's missing that sort of what story um, are we supposed to be leading into. And I, I think if the author is listening at home, I imagine you've got a, a mix of frames from this location. I'd go through and have a look and... Um, see whatever the little stories that you get from it. You need to look at the image and say, what story am I evoking and telling here? Awesome. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Thank you, Chris. A nursing home resident appears to console her friend from the neighbouring bed. Bean Lee, Brisbane.
This sprint scores 76. Lani's going to challenge. She's on 83. So there's a 77, 76, 75 and a 70 for you, Lani. Oh, well, we'll give it a go. Listen, um, I just thought it'd be really good to talk about this and I rewarded this image really based on the documentary of the story that's happening up there. I loved, I loved the little characteristics of the lady's arm on the little shoulder. Um, obviously the lady holding onto her little um, walker and her leg hanging over the edge. I think what really evoked to me is a story of two um, ladies who are just so comfortable being who they are and in each other's company. Um, and I felt that was really documented well. It's still, still even at this age, you know, like you could see them maybe 30, 40 years ago um, sitting on the side of a, you know, um, I know, bed doing the same thing, but here we are 30 years on um, doing the same thing. And I felt like the photographer also captured the story of the little teddy bears in the back. I liked the story all the way around, the teddy bears in the right-hand background and also, um, you know, the light that's falling on the pictures behind the ladies, which tells a story of um, her time and... Um, in this life and um, you know the future generation so I felt we needed to reward the uh, photographer for not just walking into an environment and capturing them just not you know doing anything but really capturing their personalities and the whole story around and I think that needs to be rewarded. Thanks Lani. Let's go to Rob you're on 70. Look I, I, I acknowledge all those um, all those characteristics of the photograph um, I just, it, it's, for me, it's probably a little bit snapshotish, um, uh, and there's, there's so many elements there that could be, uh, uh, you know, maybe left out or gone in tighter. Um, the, 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 the walker in the foreground, you know, I realise that's probably the old ladies, but it doesn't do anything for the photograph. I, I it was opportunity lost, probably, uh, in my opinion. But, um, the, you know, the lighting control, uh, essentially, it's lovely and sharp. There's a whole lot of great things about it, but it just isn't um, It isn't an award print, I don't believe. Adam, you'd like to speak? Uh, on. 75, yeah. And I'll acknowledge what Rob said, too, that the, the capture is of a professional standard. I think what stops me from coming up, and I'm, I'm willing to listen to, to what you have to say, is that there's the connection one way, but... The expression to me doesn't match. Uh, it, it feels like a little piece of an in-between moment. I'm not quite sure how she feels about that, and I'm just I'm just left a little bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't get a reaction out of, out of the, I don't get an emotional response, and I think I'm supposed to, uh, and and that's what's holding me back. Is that just a, a little bit clearer understanding of what what's going on there? Lani, your right of reply. Yeah, look, um, I, I've listened to everyone's comments. As I said, I, I'm rewarding it into the silver category. Uh, the, the, war the walker, and I'd love for you to come up, obviously. The walker doesn't bother me. I think the walker has to be there. Obviously, she needs to hold on to something to um, help her sit up. And, and I still, that's what I think I like, the fact she's got her walker and her leg hitched up on the other side. She's like, this is how I'm sitting for the photo. Take the photo or, n or leave. Doesn't bother me. And that's what I like about that. That's her personality. I don't think they're going to be smile, smiley cats. They're just chilling out and someone's come in to document and tell their story. I also feel like the bears in the background almost kind of, um, you know, reflect uh, sort of how they're sitting. If you look, the, if you look at how uh, the lady on the left is sitting, the bear's sort of sitting on the side and the other one's sort of doing the same thing. So I feel like the author has really brought us something a little bit more than just walking in and taking a snapshot. They really have engaged with these um, ladies and told the story all the way around the frame. Um, and I think that's what needs to be rewarded. So our average score is 76. Lani holds an 83, but everyone else can rescore. Print has gained two points, now a 78. Next print, please. As the day draws to a close, two young children stop to play a game at a phone box.
This print scores 76. Uh, Lani, can we get a comment from you about this one, please? Yeah, I quite like this um, image. And if I think if the author wanted some advice to take it up into that next range, I'm not quite sure, obviously, but I just feel like if they could, um, if they've got a little bit more of the frame, they could even show us from the top, um, top and the bottom, because obviously cropping in quite close to that um, phone box, you feel quite trapped in on that left-hand side of the frame. But um, yeah, have a look at your cropping and, and have a little play around and obviously um, maybe elements of just tonal control in the lighting in the box as well. But it's quite a cute image. Thanks, Lani. Next print, please. Calm Before the Storm, 2nd of October 2017, 10.05am, Barbados, Caribbean, Surfer Jen Spencer ditches his bodyboard to assist in an elderly captain removing his anchor from the reef in anticipation of an oncoming storm. This print scores 76. Can I... Oh, that was a bit slow, Rob. Almost missed you. <laughs> uh, Rob would like to challenge from 83. Uh, you've got a 78, 76, a 73 and a 71 to work on. Yeah, look, um, uh, let's, let's think about the degree of difficulty in this shot. Um, the... Uh, there's there's a few elements that are, that you know are not perfect, but then the uh, that comes back to the de degree of difficulty. So uh, it tells a great story, and I mean based on the, um, uh, based on the caption, um, how would you tell that story? And this uh, this author has gone about think well, I know I'll go uh, I'll go half under the water, and we'll show the diver, and we'll show the ship, and um, uh, and I think. It it deserves, um, a, 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 you know, a, a low silver, but I, I believe it's a, um, a a silver award mostly because of the the innovative way that the uh, photographer's gone about it. Adam would like to speak. You're at the opposite end at seventy one. Um, yeah, look, I mean, many ph many photographic situations are, are, are difficult, and our job is to is to capture them and tell the story. There are technical aspects first straight up that that hold me back. First of all. The sharpest part of, of the image is the rope and not really the boat and definitely not the diver is very, to me, very muddy and unclear. And then when I hear the story that the caption gives me, there's not really any element of this photograph that reflects, um, you know, retrieving anchors. And I, 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 I've, I have it in the professional range because, again, it's, it's a unique perspective and, you know, as professionals, we should be trying to find that unique perspective but I, I, I cannot, I, I, I have to be very heavily convinced to bring it up into silver. Lani, you weren't far off from a silver on 78. Yeah, and um, for all the reasons I enjoyed it um, and had it in the silver category. I, and, and I mean, I, I liked that Rob's challenged it, but I do feel like um, to take it up into the silver category, I would have needed a little bit more detail in terms of the sharpness, which Adam brought up. That was probably one of the key issues, but I was sort of rewarding the author on giving us a um, nice sort of different capture. Rob, you write a reply. Yeah, and, and I probably acknowledge that I, you know, I did have um, uh, some issues, but uh, as far as uh, an image with some impact, I love the, the kind of the wave swirls over. I'm not too worried about the, the, the ship. The rope actually being sharp works well for me, but um, um, maybe we can reconsider and see how we go. So the average score is 76. Rob holds an 83, but everyone else can rescore. Print scores 78. Let's have the next print, please. Phnom Penh, Cambodia. While sitting in a tuk, a Cambodian male on a scooter seems to be concentrating while many scooters and others, other forms of transport swarming in the background.
This print score is 67. Adam, could we get some feedback from you on this one, please? Um, when we pr I find we're printing for awards, sometimes the printing to the, the full size, I, I, f I feel like there's something about the crop or the aspect that, that's just not handled here properly. I'm not going to assume what, what that is, but there's an odd, just an oddness about the shape of, of the photo as presented. Um, also, there's slight technical issues in the, the sharpness and quite a lot of noise in, in the photo that, yeah, we really need to work on those, those technical things to lift it up into the professional standard. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Two thousand and sixteen, Charles Rochester, a city to surf legend, watches on at his beloved Manly Beach. This print scores 80, silver award. Adam and Lani would both like to comment. Let's both have a chat about it. Uh, look, again, congratulations to the author. Really well captured. Love the textures that, and the differing tones that have been presented. Billy I, I, I just keep coming back to cropping off a little bit on that right-hand side, that second sign, the, and the towel maybe distract me just a squidge. Have a play with it anyway. I think it's a, a great frame and, and congratulations. Well, well crafted. Lani. Yeah. Look, I was actually just below silver, but I'm glad that it got something. Um, I feel like if the author wanted some feedback, I'd go away and have a look at the control in the printing of the tones. So the tones are beautiful. I um, mean, I can see there, there's some rich qualities in there, but um, maybe go and have a chat to one of the awesome printing guys and get as much detail and tone that you can because his back is just amazing. Um, and so printing paper and tonal quality control, I think you'll take that into that if you're going to enter it into the nationals. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And of course our um, uh, fabulous sponsors, Epson, uh, good, fabulous printers and papers and lovely things like that. Gary would also like to comment. Yeah, look, I gave this an 82. Um, I think there's more that can be done with this too. This guy with his leathery skin and his manly uh, sluggos and, and, you know, the clothed people in the, in the front, he's there with his brand new hat on, you know. If you could revisit this guy, there is, you know, there's some odes to Dupain here as well going on also. So, you know, there's lots of other things that can happen here with that fabulous leathery skin and the tog. So, yeah, if you can go and get him again, yeah, go to it. Yeah, or tell me where he is. <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned Dupain, Gary. That was my first thought too. Thank you, judges. All valuable feedback. Let's have the next print, please. Entertaining the passers-by. A busker outside a nightclub in Fortitude Valley at 10pm on a Friday night. This print scores 71. Gary, could you give us some words, please? Yeah, look, you know, the story's in the middle of the picture. There are elements on the edges, the bins and the wall and what have you, that are, that are really not contributing to what we want to see here, which is our, our busker and our people walking past. Uh, you know, this sort of work is... Um, we, we see a lot of the street-style shooting uh, to get an award at this at this level, it's got to be sort of fantastic work because there's a lot of people in this genre. This one I landed at 72, uh, but you know, with this you've got to get in and get tight. I think, yeah. Adam, and and my way, I I actually didn't mind the bins in the, but I was disappointed that there was no nothing doing with them. So I, I see what you're saying, Gary, is that as as presented, I don't think they add to the photo, and I think and. and 
there are issues with sharpness and just finding him in the in the grayness of the tones. The I the, the concept perhaps is worth working on, but the execution and the way that they interact with that environment perhaps is what's lacking, I think, in this photo. Thank you very much. Going to do a judge change. Thank you, Gary. And I'll bring on Morgan Roberts. Morgan, come join us. And we will have the next print, please. Kelly in the Shade, 19th April, 12.05 p.m. Cloud Break, Fiji. Largest swell of the year. Kelly Slater enters the water, eyes bulging as the horizon goes dark from a slew of oncoming waves. He stands, we scream, and my shutter button clicks away silently. This print scores 83, silver award. Lani would like to comment. Yeah, cracker image. Um, just if the photographer wants some feedback to take it to that next level, I think I understand the, uh, the color of um, the surfer is a little bit um, rel relevant, obviously, to the blue water, but maybe looking at, I don't know, if they can make him a little bit warm um not so green it's just he sort of pops when you're gonna don't know if you can anyway just an idea but beautiful image and adam, adam looks like he's not sure if he agrees uh, well i mean and actually i was going to say that's what i really enjoyed about the image <laughs> but i can understand that that's going to that that is going to be a concern coming to nationals that some judges may may perceive that uh, i i like the idea of the green room and the blue skies out there but it it it, 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 it may be something you might just want to take halfway to give that, to, to take that out of the judges' minds, I think, going to nationals. And Morgan, you had a comment as well? Uh, yeah, look, I'm glad this has gone up. However, I, I just, my initial, I, the initial impact of this image for me was I was quite distracted. As much as the blue is all there and those tones are all there and matching in the in the left-hand side of the image, you've, you've still got that thing that I was looking at the surfer and then I was like, I, I don't care about the, ba the, the, the background, anything outside of, outside of this wave. I just want to be brought into that wave and I want to be brought into that moment. I can see, you know, y you do still want to have that shape of the wave coming around and, and y I'm aware that you could lose that a bit much if you brought it in on the left, but I still, I just want to be really brought into that, uh, brought into that moment there and, and, and smashed with that. And that's, that's why I was a little lower than everyone else, but yeah, still wonderful. We're all going to have a chat about this if one. Everybody's going to talk about this. <laughs> <environment, laughs> Everyone's really excited about this image. Because I'm the opposite. I actually love the fact that you can see the power of the edge of the wave and the fact that there's all this stuff on the side. And I've seen so many tunnel shots of surfing that this just brings that little bit of a different element to it. So this one could cause a bit of discussion down the track. But and, yeah, well, we're at and it. And Rob. <laughs> I don't want to be left out. <laughs> No, the only thing I, I I agree. I I like the actual um, the sky and the and the foreground, you know, ahead of the um, ahead of the surfer. The only thing I check, and and I don't know whether it's an optical illusion, but I would just check the level of the horizon. Um, it may be level, but it doesn't look level. That's the only thing that I'd pick up on. Thank you, and that's why we have. Oh, <laughs> come on, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> look. And the only thing I'd say to the author is that images that cause debate are fantastic. Yeah, so, exactly. So, you know, if you're taking it towards nationals, yeah, take on board what you've heard and, and go for it. It's, it is a well-rewarded image. And that's why we have five judges and you can disagree with each other until the cows come home. <laughs> it's always good to have a, a bit of discussion. Thanks, judges. We'll have the next print, please. In remote southwest Queensland... Doris Dog Hunter and her headless counterpart exemplify local bush humour.
this print scores 74. Adam would like to comment? Initial impact, I think, counts for, for a lot. And from back here, especially, the story that I get when I get up there is completely lost from back here. The, the subject are lost in the, 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 the lines. Uh, if there's an opportunity to revisit there, there is, I think, the potential of a really great story captured uh, maybe somehow differently and the author will have to, to figure out what the best way to present that is. But I find the story is a little lost in amongst all the, the surroundings. Thanks, Adam. Next print, please. A head-on collision with an oncoming canoe amid bad weather conditions has caused competing six-man outrigger canoe to capsize during the Sydney Harbour International Outrigger Challenge Race, February 2017. The at-fault outrigger canoe team continues to the race finish. This print scores 79. Okay, we've got, we've got two of you here. I'm going to take you, Rob, because you're higher. You're on 85. Um, but Adam's only a point behind you on 84. Then there's a 77 and two 75s. So go ahead, Rob. Um, um, just a few minutes ago, we talked about um, uh, initial impact, and uh, this has 100% initial impact. So the... the the the, uh, the angle from which the uh, author has taken the photograph immediately takes you in to, um, into the action. So you've got the, uh, uh, the line of the boat taking you there. You've got all the people in the, um, in the water going, what the hell, what do we do now? And, and then exactly as the, uh, as the caption says, you've got the other guys <laughs> um, going for it. Uh, the, 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 the depth of water, which is what it's all about, um, is fantastic, but there's left enough on the horizon and enough of the background and the buildings to tell the story. There's some other yachts on the water. This is, the, is a beautiful image. It's, it's cold. It looks cold. Um, it tells everything about this story, and uh, I love it. Thank you. Let's hear from um, Mel, and then we'll go to Adam. Mel, you're on 75. Yeah, I think you've convinced me. Um, I, I really wasn't drawn into the story, but I can see how it is actually telling that narrative now, so I appreciate the fact that you uh, explained that to me. So I think I'll be coming up. And Adam? The initial impact from the palette in the front is what what get, gets to me. There is a, a, you know, a real fluorescence about the front and documentary is always about being Johnny on the spot and this is the exact spot to show this story and even without the caption, I was before I even heard the caption, I had the impression that that second boat was just going like, we don't care, there's guys you know, under the water, half in the water, there's such chaos in the front of this scene and such calmness reflected and everything points to that other boat going, it was them, it was them, you know. Like I, I think it's a really excellent piece of communication in both the way the palette draws your attention to everything in there and the storytelling and being right there on the spot. I was waiting for Rob to tell me to how, how he'd come up to Silver Distinction, but I definitely think that you guys are like should at least come up to Silver. I'm waiting for the Silver Distinction argument. And Rob might be able to give that to you now. <laughs> I was keeping that bit to last. Um, it's... You know, wh when you arrive at a scene like this as a, uh, a documentary photographer, you, you, you've got seconds almost to grab it. And uh, so there's many ways, and it depends on where you've manoeuvred around, but this photographer's uh, decided on the diagonal, which it just, you know, it, you, you look at any other angle, it wouldn't work. He's decided on the diagonal. It works beautifully. I give it 85. I think we're pretty close to a silver distinction. I, I'd really, really just have a rethink and maybe uh, reward this photographer for his excellent work. His or her. Did I say his? <laughs> his or her, sorry. 
Okay, so our average score is 79. Rob is locked in at 85. Everyone else can rescore. Prince scores 83, silver award. <laughs> Next print, please. A young calf pauses during a moment of panic. The gates are often a chaotic experience for cows, especially for first timers. Calves often sustain injuries due to panic. Charging into iron gates and more, more than often breaking their own neck. This print scores 76. Lani would like to comment. Yeah, I think um, if the author wants some feedback for the Nationals, because that's what we're here for, I do think you can take it up into that sort of category just with the control and treatment of, again, your tones and exposure and playing around with Adam's cropping um, lines, obviously. But that line, I've realised, because the left-hand line is straight, might actually be a bunky fence. So I'm not, I don't mind that, but if it's not then fix it but yeah I just think look at the tonal control go to Epson get them their printing <laughs> get their printing uh, professional minds into this but because it's a quite a nice capture and you might you may even actually look at making it a, a, a square so cropping so you've just got the end edge of that bottom so then it it's quite shapely yeah play play yeah Adam would like to speak, and then yeah, Morgan. I, I'm I'm pulling my graduated feel. I, the the bottom left hand side is is where is the brightest part of the image for my eyes, and that's where I'm drawn to, and perhaps just darkening that down a little bit will really draw you into that story. I feel like if we're going to use the word panic, I want a little bit more action. It just seems a little static around the the great expression they've captured on that that cow is the story that what's definitely worth telling. Maybe just see, see what you can do to to re-emphasize that story. And Morgan? I'm um, echoing what everyone else has really said. The story is right there in the middle of the image. Anything else that doesn't have anything to do with the story can be toned down, can be cropped out, can be can be removed somehow or, or, or diminished somehow because that story right in the middle is quite strong. Um, everything else, it, it, it's irrelevant. It's not important to include all that stuff, all the white, all the, the, the bright highlights. Yeah, I'd just... Get in, get in there, get amongst it. All right, thank you very much, judges. Next print, please. There's no caption for this image. This print scores 79. Rob would like to challenge. Rob, you're on 84. Uh, Morgan's in the silver range on 80. And then you've got a 78, 77 and a 76. 
Um, <coughs> this is an interesting uh, photograph, and there's a lot of elements in it that um, uh, that if you have a look, you kind of see. Um, you know, you, you, you kind of see if you have a look. Um, the interesting bit I find is a, is a repeat of uh, of the guy in the check trousers on the check mat in the photograph up in the corner on the in the check trousers on the check mat. <laughs> so it's a little repeat of him up on the on the photograph. Um, <laughs> and then there's you know he's got his uh, his little bits and pieces on the on the floor next to him and uh, there's a there's a I'd love to know what it says up on the sign. Um, there's so many, there's more questions than answers in that photograph and, uh, and I think it's uh, been beautifully seen. Um, and I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a silver award for sure. Adam, you're on 76. I, I guess with the addition, additional information, I, I did miss the top check trousers. I saw the photo but didn't sort of make the connection with the check trousers, so I will give you that one. But as far as looking around the room to the objects there to be seen, none of them really added to the overall narrative of the photo past what I'm, I see that you know, on initial impact. And I guess that's what I was looking for is to take that narrative further. It is a, a professionally crafted portrait of a man in an environment, but I'm struggling to get part the narrative past that up into the silver range. And Morgan, you were just into silver on 80. Yeah, I'm... Um there's such a wonderful little vignette here of this man's life and uh, and I didn't notice at the, the start either but thank you so much for pointing out that the the mirror of this photo so we've got that photo in the photo this photograph so we've got this little inception thing here I think the photographer has seen that this is well crafted I don't need to know what those objects around him are I feel the the fact that they are just there and everything else in the room is quite sparse and that's that's kind of you know i get this feeling that this is this is all he has this is his stuff this is his collection of of things that he'll bring around um i don't know anything further about that story but what i can see from this is is that this is this is my collection of things um yeah i feel like there are some parts of the frame that distract i mean the i think perhaps the photographer could work at bringing the tones down a little on the window um and then amplifying that lovely smoke that's coming out because that just creates such a, a wonderful mood. Um, but then the danger there is getting in too tight and removing what the frame is allowing us to see, the fact that there is not much else here and it's just him in his space. And anything tighter than that, I feel, would then we'd lose that sense of uh, loneliness uh, or, or whatever this is. We'd lose that sense, I feel, if we got anything tighter. So that's my two cents. Rob, you're right of reply. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, there's all those things. I mean, um, there's always uh, little areas where they could be uh, improved. However, y y you've got a reasonably dark room and you've got very bright lights coming, or a bright light coming through the window, and the back door's pretty bright, but there's still detail there. And there's, um, you know, in a, in a one capture shot, it, it's been handled really well. Uh, his minimalist, what appears to be a minim minimalist life, um, is in that room. His clock is on the floor ticking by ticking by as his life ticks by um his portraits up on the wall as, as, as i say there's more questions than answers it's a it's a beautiful portrait thank you very much our average is 79 rob's opt in at 84 everyone else please rescore Having some problems here. Just for the benefit of our audience, um, we're having a bit of uh, technical difficulty at the moment, but it shouldn't be long before we're back up.
blank screen, please. Thank you. So, Adam, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> that's 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 rubbish. Actually, I hate pina You don't have a ribbon. Where's your ribbon? I forgot it. It's at home. It's what three hours is away. It? It's red with one. <laughs> red mask. with one. Very yeah, nice. Red with one. It just sounds <laughs> like. It. Uh, I'm a newspaper photographer. The Daily Examiner newspaper um, in Grafton. Have been there about twenty years. Started as a first year apprentice and do all sorts of fun things now. Also shoot weddings and portraits uh, on and on the weekend and most of the other time that I have left. I uh, have been doing that for a, on and off for about that 20 years. Took about a 10 year break in the middle from assisting others and doing my own stuff now. And yeah, sort of have you know, been all over the, the country, but mostly just in you know, working in regional uh, newspaper. A lot of feature work we do is mostly, with well, hard news obviously, but in a, a small regional place, it's not as, as prevalent as what it may well be. But um, and yeah, just sort of working at, at, as a, a, a my own. I'm the only photographer at the paper, and yeah, going around and sort of developing stuff from there. Uh, and 2014 won a Walkley for regional news, Very nice. which was ridiculous. It was a beautiful <laughs> photo. <laughs> if you if you had awesome. have, uh, if you had have seen the day, yeah, it was it was ridiculous. You look at the photos <laughs> that sort of go up through the Walkleys every year, and yeah, and then again, it's like this situation that that year, my five photos, my six photos were the ones. So. Something to keep on to, and and yeah, got a nice little prize from Yay Adam. Yeah, from <laughs> from a, a nice little camera sponsor. Awesome. So that was good. <laughs> Thank